Tonight, we stand beneath a new heaven. After 150 years of calling out, the silence of the universe assures us that life is unique. We are alone. You and I are among the first to bring life to the stars, to this planet, the farthest any human has ever ventured. I know there are those at home who say that we are here only as a status symbol. Others say that we are fortune hunters or that we're running away. But I know that we're here because of faith, faith in each other, in a better world. The rocket fuel that brought us here can be burnt away, but our belief in ourselves, in one another, in the future, never can be, never will be. It's just a meteor shower. They're still having problems. We lost communication with Vesta this morning. I found this pump by a test launch. I won't need a rocket. Final countdown. I know. Most people don't know if their dreams will ever come true. Ours is definitely nine hours and two minutes away.
stink. I smell him like an animal. <laughs> See, I told the foreman not to hire him. Get him up. I had two uncles die in the AI war because the tanks wouldn't fight. The in vitro platoons were dissolved when I was a kid. I had nothing to do with it. Then you're even more worthless. I never asked to be born. Great. Then you can ask to die. Go on. Ask. Ask. Invitros are all alike. Invitros? Call him what he is. A tank. We're told to report immediately, and then they make us wait two hours? The others didn't have to wait. Good afternoon, sir. The launch simulation went perfect. We are still a go? I know you are aware of the growing rights movement for Invitros. Those conceived and born in artificial gestation tanks. Sir, we have every right to support the in vitros. They're human beings, sir. Just like us, only conceived from parents who never lived. Last evening, the TELUS Board of Governors was issued a directive from the United States Senate. A launch will be scrapped unless 10 in vitros are on board. Given the severe limitations on weight, rations, and personnel capacity. Are you saying we're being replaced? It is my sincere regret to inform you that one of you will not be on board. One of us? Nine colonists have been released. Postpone the mission. If we don't go in six hours, the forecasted wormhole passage to tell us won't be open for another 12 They're years. They're not even trained. I mean, send them on the next colony. The next colonial mission won't be ready for five years. There are members of Congress who need to look good now. We'll both resign. You have a commitment to execute vital assignments on this mission. Duties which one of you could cover, but for which no one else is trained. Not to mention the severe legal consequences of breaking your contract. Besides, I know you both. It's your dream to go to space. The dream was to go together. I'm on record as saying this directive stinks. I fought it all the way. Rather than issuing an order, I'm allowing the two of you to decide who shall remain. There is a, an alternative for one of you. There is a possibility the Marine Corps Space Cavalry may be assigned duty as colonial sentries. You want us to bet our lives on a possibility? We did everything you told us. We followed the rules. We gave the program everything we had. These in vitros didn't train. These senators haven't sacrificed. Why should we pay for a mistake they made before we were even born? You're letting them throw away our lives. We believed in you. Now the only thing you can believe in is each other. Please arrive at your decision by 21.30 today.
lights! Shane, take care of them. Remember how I told you? The AIs. They're here. Hurry. I love you. Everyone's saying goodbye to their families. I never thought we'd be saying goodbye to each other. Then let's run away. To a life of what? Because we broke our contract, no one would employ us. We'd be indentured servants to the colonial program for 20 years. Did they keep their word to us? The program was all I ever believed in. And now there's nothing. You believed in equal rights for in vitros. Not at the expense of our rights. We've trained, we've sacrificed, we've dreamed. Together. Well, maybe we have to find another dream. We have to somehow take control. Tom, this is HP, Cam. We're getting an abnormal CO2 imbalance on level 22.
Why'd you enlist? Just did. My name's Nathan. Hi, Shane Vance. Hi. Mike the goat. Vanessa, damn foos. Damn foos, is that like French for something? Probably. But my friends just call me damn fool. It's got a tough ring to it. My friends call me Pags. Like I'm a dog or something. <laughs> nice to meet you, Pags. Hey, I know it's only the first day. Any guess as to when we get our planes? One twenty seventh. That's why I joined. The angry angels. Best there is or ever will be. Someday. That'll be me. They don't yell as much as I've heard they do. All right, you people, listen up. You are now the United States Marine Corps Space Aviator Recruit Depot, Luxley, Alabama. When you left home, you were under mommy and daddy's care. You are now under mine. From here out, you will not sleep, eat, sleep, or take a dumb until you're told to do so. And the first and last words out of your slimy holes will be, sir, do you maggots understand me? Sir, yes, sir. Louder! Sir, yes, sir. Upon the command, you were given approximately 30 seconds to fall out of this bus. Any questions? Sir, when do we get our plane, sir? Move! 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 Move!
I am your senior drill instructor. I am here to turn you slimy civilian cesspool parasites into United States Marine Corps space aviators, invoking bow wrenching fear into the dark hearts of your enemies. Why are you here? Sir, to find a direction, sir. A direction? Are you lost? Sir, I suffer from a sense of disconnection. Answer the question. Sir, yes, I am, sir. Well, do I look like a road map to you? Sir, no, sir. I am a road map. I will lead and you will follow. I will teach and you will learn. When you leave my academy, you will be weapons, focused and full of purpose. Hot rod rocket jocks of precision and strength, tear assing across the cosmos, hunting for heaven. What's your name? Wang. Paul Wang, officer. Officer? I am not an officer. I work for a living. Did I hear a sound out of you, Wang? I did. I did hear a sound. I'll bet it was your Marine Corps battle cry. Let me hear your battle cry. Ah, uh, I am not impressed. Sergeant, demonstrate a Marine Corps battle cry for this panty waist. Ah! Ah! Still pathetic. In space, no one can hear you scream unless it is the battle cry of the United States Marines. Why did you join my precious Marine Corps? Sir, to defend my country, sir! To defend your country from what? We have no enemies. Are you crazy? I think you made a horrible mistake! Sir, no, sir! Are you calling me a liar? Sir, the best way to maintain peace is to maintain a good defense, sir! Are you a politician? Or are you running for office? Hey, you don't think I'm funny? Sir, no, sir! Do I amuse you? Sir, no, sir! Drop down and give me 25. Well, I'm glad to see you're having such a fun time. You two, on your face, 25. One, two, three, four, I love the Marine Corps. Anyway, Sergeant, are all of these worms present or accounted for? Shot one, Sergeant Major. The tank, Cooper Hawks. you hawks so the judge thought it would be cute to sentence the tank to the military I fought alongside you people in the AI wars so I know the tanks are lazy and they don't care about anyone or anything I won't let you down the only thing you're gonna let down is your face upon my deck and crank out 50 push-ups now do it one two Three, four, I love the Marine Corps. One, two, three, four, I love the Marine Corps. Transcolus injection complete. Prepare for entry. <laughs> Five billion years from now, maybe to the day, the sun burns 90% of its hydrogen. A balance is destroyed. More energy is created than released. Quickly, a few million years, the sun radiates all of its potential power. The star swells. Mercury, Venus, the Earth disappear, swallowed. The sun truly, finally touches the sky. Life vanishes eons ago. Eventually, the sun shrinks, decreasing to the size of the Earth, which reappears from the red dwarf's grasp. With no gravity to hold it, the Earth slowly floats away. Elsewhere, stars are born. Other star systems, older, larger, continue to breathe. The solar system dies of crib death. If that's what it takes...
Red Leader. Bandits at 2 o'clock, confirm. Red Leader, this is R3, confirm. AOA, 15 degrees. R4, confirm. Check 6. R5, check 6. R5, check 6. Hawks, answer me. Enemy craft have us locked on. Juke right, buzz east. Shut the hell up. You are dead. This ain't real. One day, Hawks, it will be real. And you're gonna find yourself right in the middle of a big hairy fur ball. And you will die. With you around, the squad doesn't need to worry about the enemy. Just you. Just you. Should have blown your ass away. Is that a fact? Out! Everybody out of your cockpit now! Get down here, you're too slow. Quickly, move it! You, grab his ass. That's an order, grab it! Everyone, grab the ass of the person to your right! Well now, isn't that beautiful? Do you feel it? His ass is yours. Her ass is yours and yours is theirs. You may fly an individual rocket, but you are a squadron. You are a team. And if you risk your ass, you risk the teams. Hey, you people have been here six weeks now, and you still do not know how to work together. Well, you will learn to work together, or that fatty clump of flesh in your hand will be blown to the far corners of the universe, and yours will be right behind it. Sir, maybe Coop would do better in a real plane, sir. I know I would. I'm afraid of you people in a simulator. Now we're going to do it again. And we're going to keep doing it until we get it right. Get back in your pits. Go! Move it! I'm sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to tell you all how much I admire and respect 127. Thanks. Thanks a lot. We'll have four pitches of draft and a couple of shooters. <laughs> She's not a waitress. She's a Marine, so I apologize. Until she graduates, she's slime. Now you apologize.
So, what's the farthest you guys have ever flown? 4.8 light years. Well, that's how far you can shove your apology. Announcement from the Secretary General of the United Nations, Spencer Chartwell. Not since the moment of creation has our universe changed so infinitely, so desperately, so quickly. Hey guys, listen, listen. Tonight, for the first time in the brief history of mankind, we are truly of one planet. Last evening, we confirmed that the landing party of the Telus colony was massacred, unprovoked by an advanced alien civilization of tremendous power. 225 are dead, 25 are unaccounted for. Because of destroyed communications, we've only now learned that the Vesta colony suffered the same fate. The alien civilization has not responded to our attempts at communication. Of this race, we know nothing. The only clue to their people is the bloodshed they've left behind. My fellow citizens of Earth, no matter where you stand on this planet, either beneath the sun's warmth or the cold of night, storm clouds of war gather over our home. Soon, they may fall in unceasing thunderbolts. We must stand together against the deluge. For we cannot possibly retreat. There is no moving the Earth. Please stay tuned to this channel for further information. Government updates will follow. This is FTN. communication as part of your training there is no commanding officer you will be on your own from this moment until we win this war the only easy day is yesterday i heard they had an army of six million they can't know that how could they know you think they got better planes than we do? They gotta be more advanced. I knew we couldn't have been alone. But now that we're not, I don't know what's scarier. Being alone or... Do you think you'd be scared if you saw one? I remember when I was a kid and saw my first AI. And they looked so human, but... Something inside me could just tell. I felt that way when I saw my first in vitro. 
I don't mean anything by that, Coop. Hit the sack. When the time comes to face them, we'll all hack it fine. You okay? Don't take this wrong, but uh, I was just wondering, I mean, well, I've always heard that in vitros can't dream. I dream. I know they never lived, but when I dream, I see my parents. Me too. Only I have nightmares about mine. Same one since I was five. What happens? Mm. My parents were Marine Corps officers in the artificial intelligence war. One night the AI patrol attacked our house. My mother and my sisters and I in this crawl space in the attic. I saw them kill my parents. Your sister's still alive? Then I turned the attack. My sister tried to scream and I put my hand over her mouth and she bit into me. I still have the scar. What's weird is we're not close. Maybe I'm the parent that they needed to go away from or maybe seeing them reminds me of They've always looked to me my whole life. I need to get away from people looking to me. I joined for me, my life. I'm tired of taking care of others for a while. Does that sound bad? Did you ever lose anyone close? ever lose anyone close translate into please stick your tongue down my throat I don't know a lot about loss and nightmares so don't get them all on and up for it. I won't be around here much longer anyway
are you? Looking to buy real estate? Let's go. There's a war on. Load the gear. First, we secure our position. Low? Mm -hmm. Our position is out in the middle of nowhere. They're secured. Now unload this gear. The hist manual clearly states... The manual? When they drop in the middle of a hairy furball, you're gonna take time to check the manual? You do what you want. I'll be happy to see you take one the minute we're in battle. We do what we're told. Oh, that's right. Follow their rules. They'll just keep taking from you and you'll let them. Hey! Wes, get off! Wait a minute, guys! Guys, help me get him apart! Wes, what are you doing? Wes, help me get him apart! Help me get him apart! What the hell is wrong with you? And you, knock it off! We have a mission to achieve. You think that we're gonna blow it because you two need to butt heads? We're driving on, so you two better get your head screwed on right. Now, Lo, tell West our position. Lo? We're 45 degrees south, 271 west. The hell is plains. That accounts for the sparse vegetation. They just started terraforming this area. The tracking drone is about four clicks from here. What should we do? All right. Grab your gear. Let's move out. Hey, Coop. I can get up myself. Probably, but it looks like you could use a hand. And I'm offering one. <clears throat> Ain't easy for me to recognize a helping hand. That's a thank you. Don't worry about it. Someday you'll pay me back. We place the transceiver units and let's go back. We've got about 10 hours of sunlight. What's this? That's the Earth message. They made it a requirement that all off-Earth installations had to have one. It's got pictures and sounds of Earth in case an extraterrestrial found it. If only this had been our first contact with them, they would have never killed the colonists. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> if they would have heard this first, they would have worked us out a long time ago. <laughs> and I wouldn't have blamed them. What the hell is that? I know this. I heard this in my 20th century history class. They called this rock and roll. I think this group was called the Pink Floyd. They went like this. Hey, ho, let's go. Hey, ho, let's go. Hey, ho, let's go. Hey, ho, look. What? One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. On Mars, about ten miles away. Let's do it. Go. All right, we all go. Everyone carries water and their M five nineties. Let's do it.
got it? Yeah. Could be a Mars orbiter. Maybe it's a classified recon ship. Something to do with the war. Danfoos, Carter, West, Stone, Pags, and me. The rest of you spread out, provide cover. You want me to go? Uh-uh. You stay here, in case something happens. Move out! Radiation levels? Uh, let's say we don't stay long. What the hell is it? Well, I can't see a cockpit or anything. There's no electronics. trying to surrender. I think it thinks we're gonna kill it. The odor's gonna make me sick. It smells so pure. It must be a scout. Going toward Earth had to crank the chicken switch over Mars. Probably sent a distress call. That means there'll be more coming. It's gotta be some way to figure it out. Don't. It could carry some kind of disease. I never had a mother, but you sound like one. <laughs> Looks like it operates the vehicle like a key. Yeah, some sort of encoded information. What is this? have to do with him.
This is this? It's like a picture of his family or something. Maybe we ought to give it something to eat a drink. He wants water. Right. It's probably one thing we have in common. Let's give it some water. What the hell is the matter with you? We're low on rations as it is. We're cut to 30% O2 flow, and you guys want to waste water on this thing? No. No way! This thing killed Pags! God knows who else it killed. I'm giving it some water. Let's show what it means to be human. I can't believe that it would be so afraid of us, that it would kill itself. We're the enemy. This is the first time I've ever seen a dead body. Won't be the last. Today, you have been assigned your SA-43 Indo-Exo Atmospheric Attack Jets. Your current orders are to take 48 hours leave. Sir, ship us out, sir. Sir, why have we been on accelerated training if we're not going to be used, sir? Listen, all we know is what you people found last week. We have no idea what lies ahead. We know basically nothing about the enemy. Numbers. Weapons, tactics. That's why we have been losing and losing badly in every battle of this war. Don't be in such a hurry. My advice, go home, see your families. Could be the last time. Dismissed. You gonna go see your sisters? I don't think they want to see me. I don't know if my parents want to see me. 
I never told him I was joining the car. They'll want to see you. You want to be a witness to that? I'll never get in one of those. Ten of us tanks were with the Telus colony. Only makes the aliens just as bad. I'm not gonna die for them. What would you die for? Mom, Dad, this is my friend Shane Vanson. It's a pleasure, Mr. and Mrs. West. Dinner is almost ready. I was going to give you a rock. I pocketed on Mars, but they took it. Come on inside. My brother Neil. Hi. Hi. The TV said we're about to begin another battle. I'm here at the UN Task Force headquarters of Vandenberg, California, receiving the latest reports. From I heard the alien fighters are made of, of some Russian unknown metal carrier. that we can't we harm it. The They've only started reverse engineering the one we found. It's just Powell. rumors. Kylan's brother told us. It doesn't seem like we can win. Don't worry, this time out we'll beat them. How do you know? <laughs> well, because this time they're going up against the 127th, the Angry Angels. They will knock the enemy into Andromeda. Bags. Um, I wanted to say something to you when they buried you, but I don't know what. And now that I'm here, I still don't. Besides, they don't let anybody say anything at those things anyway. Huh. I guess I just wanted to say You were the only guy that was ever okay to me. I, don't know, I wish, I, I just wish somehow you could just feel my insides and know. Well, maybe right now you can. I doubt it. Oh, I wish I knew what you were feeling right now. See, I thought I knew what it would be like, but 
seeing you up there, I'll blood. Uh, I just, I wish I could know if anything is worth it. Nathan, our orders are in. Any idea where we're heading? Damn, who's her? We're going straight to the line. Be seated. The information you're about to receive is classified level red. I don't need to remind you of the consequences of divulging class red information. 58th, because of you, we've caught a break, a major break. Within the wreckage of the alien recon vehicle you recovered during your hist was an encoded transmission detailing the enemy's projected battle objectives. Subsequently, all enemy movements have been anticipated. Fearing that the captured information may be deceptive, we have not shown our hand until now. The Earth is here. The enemy intends to attack with extreme intent two-thirds of its forces at the Groombridge 34 Star System Naval Base in 71 hours. This is known as Point G. The Earth forces, the greatest mobilization of military might since the 20th century, will surprise attack from behind enemy positions at two points, Point F here and Point H here. The Marines will participate with the 8th Air Wing. This will be possible due to a fortuitous projected wormhole opening in the Galileo regions. From the captured information we have ascertained, their planes are faster with a greater rate of climb. Ours are more maneuverable and better armed. It evens out. Surprise has been their best weapon. Now it's ours. It's too easy. Sir, if the plans weren't planted, then they at least would assume we have them. No doubt their intelligence informed them we would be unable to decipher the transmission. And in fact, it has taken 50 quantum charno computers interlinked on four continents to decode the enemy's complex language. And as mentioned, their movements have since been in accord with the captured plans. Sir, are we deploying to point F or H, sir? 58 Squadron will operate in a support capacity at point A. Point A. Here. Real left flank. 
Sir, why bother telling us the plan if we weren't going to be a part of it? You are part of it. Rear left flank. Sir, request permission to transfer to 8th Air Wing. Denied. Sir, with all due respect, we have the right to follow suit. Sit down, Lieutenant! 58th will report to the Naval Space Carrier Saratoga across the Jupiter line by 0840 tomorrow. You'll meet your squadron commander on board. Dismissed. Confirm Saratoga position at 32.5 mega statute kilometers. Come in, Gold Leader. Confirm. Just a mech. I'm getting interference on the LIDAR. Check six. I had a bogey on the HUD. Must have been an asteroid. Red Leader, confirm banded a recon vehicle. Confirm, confirm. LIDAR four. Alien bogey, 10 o'clock. I'll turn to angle 30 degrees. Blue team, white team, watch six. Hack! Twelve o'clock high. <laughs> Jinked! Scram! Scram! Lost it. Must be jamming our LIDAR. We're below us like a fish on the line. Let's go fishing. Negative. Don't have the fuel. Return to designated course, so I'll call space come and report ACM with the enemy. They reported the briefing area immediately. Spacecom checked out your report of the enemy recon vehicle. Radio telescopes have since found not only no trace of enemy troops in the Groombridge system, but rather a force amassing outside our solar system. Enemy plans were set up. At this point, no one needs their plans to know which direction they're headed.
Sit down. into your eyes. Courage, honor, dedication, sacrifice. These are just the words they used to get you here. Now the only word that means a damn to you is life. Yours, your buddies. The one certainty in war is that in an hour, maybe two, you'll either still be alive or you'll be dead. For the next hour, here's your best chance of staying alive. The Trojan asteroid belt trails Jupiter's orbit. Our objective is to hide in the debris. This may be as difficult as engaging the enemy. You're going to have to react to the pitch and yaw of the asteroids in order to keep out of sight, shielded from LIDAR. Intelligence says they'll fly right by, then jump them. Now, nobody's asking you to wax their tails. Your goal is to stall them. Our forces at Groombridge 34 have doubled back and are right now passing through the Kali wormhole. If we successfully delay the enemy, we'll have reinforcements appearing from behind them and out of the sun. And that's when we teach them something every human knows. Payback's a bitch. Now, I'm here because I've been in a knife fight with them. They come at you in groups. Check your six. And they have a low angle of attack, so keep your nose level. Plans you've been issued have an upgrade in the retro thrusters. One more thing. It's okay to be scared. I'll see you in an hour. <laughs> Saratoga, this is Blue Leader. We're tied on. Acquired position Alpha. Affirmative, Blue Leader. Commodore, the enemy forces have adjusted their course. If they continue, they'll avert the asteroid field. Saratoga, LIDAR shows the enemy to be... Affirmative, Blue Leader. We'll advise. Advise? They're moving away. Hold position. Could they know we're here? No, they'd attack. <laughs> Something's got to bring them our way. Negative. Hold your position. Wait them out.
One of the 58th has moved out of position. I'm beating him past you. I'm going to help him out. Negative, Blue Leader. Hold your position. He'll bring him past. Wait till we all can go. I'm going in. Fang's out. Approaching position. Stand by, Alpha attack wing. My controls, Bruce! They're locking in on him! Kill the right thruster, you stupid tank! Shane, check your six. I can't take it. No, West, I can't get to her. She's in my line. If I engage, I might hit her. Hoorah! Popping good, West. I didn't fire. Who got the kill? Forces are through the wormhole and are inflicting severe damage on the enemy. Fifty-eight, this is command. Damage is nominal. Enemy in retreat. Return to base. Objective achieved. of the Marine Corps, 58th Squadron, the many peoples of Earth will breathe a single sigh of relief. And tonight, at their graduation ceremony, we honor them. I believe even the great leader of the 20th century, Winston Churchill, would agree. Never in the field of conflict has there been so much owed by so many 
for so few. We of Earth are proud and grateful. Celebrate well. Although I suppose the break in the storm is momentary. The thunder shall return. And the lightning will certainly strike again. Thank you. <laughs> Can you believe it, Jan? Hey. Here you go. We're going to have a toast. A toast! Congratulations. Sir, I... Those words that day, they kept us alive. Save it. You'll have all the chances in the world to thank me. I've just been assigned as your squadron commander. And if you ever pull anything like what you did out there under my command, the only medal you'll be wearing are cuffs in the brig. At least he doesn't yell. Here's to Pags. Here's to being alive for one more hour. Here, Pags. To Pags. Here, here. Elsewhere, stars are born. Other star systems, older, larger, continue to breathe. The solar system dies of crip death. If that's what it takes, then okay. If I must wait that long, then all right. Because when I think of this, nothing is more desirable than the hope of watching that last day when the sun flickers out with you beside me. We'll sit alone on a dark chunk of ice at the top of the world. And the stars above, beyond, and between us will never shine brighter as we drift away into space. Watch your hands, watch your hands.